Thanks, Nick. Well, it's time for another Larry's Garden, and joining us now is Larry O'Neill, and you're telling us how to add a little excitement to our garden. Right. Hey, it's summertime. The kids, your, your young kids are saying, oh, I'm bored. I don't know what to do. You know, this, they love butterflies and hummingbirds. You know, kids love to be in the garden, and this is something they can do and watch it grow during the su a summer and make it a science project, you know, the different type of butterflies. But some of the great plants that really do well in our climate are porter wheat, and this is going to attract butterflies and hummingbirds, oh, a relatively beautiful. easy plant to grow. Again, this is going to be a very drought-resistant plant. Once it's established, of course they need water to get them going because, you know, a lot of times people plant them so, well, it's not, it's not drought resistant, but it died, but, you know, we need water <laughs> on it. But, you know, any of these great butterfly plants, you're going to be able to get at Ace Hardware. Okay. Here's, a, here's a plant that's Gorgeous. beautiful in color. It's a sprawling plant, plumbago, again, from South Africa, so it has a very low water requirement, you know, cut back. It does have some cold sensitivity, so you want to cut back during the, uh, in the early spring, and then you can cut back if it gets too ungainly. But, again, it's going to attract those butterflies, monarchs, Pritillarias, swallowtails, you know, very easy. These are plants that are easy to take care of. You don't really have to fret a lot about them. The kids are going to love them. Here's one of the quintessential, you know, uh, butterfly plant, the penta, oh, the red yes. color. That red color brings the hummingbirds. It's going to bring the butterflies. Mm -hmm. And it's just an easy plant to grow. It, it grows in the shade and in the sun. Well, high filter light would be better to say. Okay. You know, if you like a more formal looking uh, garden plant for butterfly, you may consider Rebecca. It's a great plant. Mm -hmm. It's a, a long living perennial talking about you know year after year after year it comes back okay. you know uh, another one that takes low amount of water and low amount of fertilizer actually these plants like a low amount of fertilizer okay. is lantana and, you know it's these are the, the nectar plants of the butterflies this is what the the but, mature butterflies eat this is the nectar plant the lantana is you know comes in many different sizes two to feet to you know two up to six feet you know a lot of times people you know need to investigate more carefully what their growing environment is going to be so you can get the right one that doesn't become too much of a maintenance problem i've seen those get huge they can get monstrous they can get monstrous here's a butterfly weed now this is a nectar plant and also a food plant you know the caterpillars got to eat something so okay. they're gonna, you know they're going to be over there doing their uh you know nature's business and yes. they're going to be laying the eggs but you know don't uh get upset if the, the leaves are missing because of caterpillars, and then they're gonna make a little cocoon, and you can take the cocoon inside and watch it go through its phases as it uh, breaks out of the cocoon, oh, which wow. your kids love that. I mean, I I've bet. done that with my kids uh, several times, but then the, then the plant's gonna furnish the nectar. So this is a multi-purpose one. Okay. You know, then you can do herbs, you know, like uh, dill. Oh, you can also fun. eat them, and then the, uh, the butterflies will eat this plant. The fennel. And also uh, an easy, easy grow, easy growing plant of uh, parsley. You know, again, it's a, you know, this is going to be a food plant for the uh, for the uh, caterpillars. Here's some other unbelievable plants right here. This is the firecracker plant, and it's a great perennial and also a great looking butterfly plant and a and a a uh, hummingbird plant. You know, just beautiful grass like. Again, you know, we're going for these low amount of water, you know, plants that we had. Everybody's thinking more of that that idea. Here's a, another native plant called uh, firebush. This is an unbelievable plant. You can see it's just the orange flowers, the red leaves, just full of color. You know, this plant is so drought resistant that the weeds will actually die around it. And you don't never have to give it a drink of water. And they are make these little berries here, and they're actually edible. You know, you can make your own uh, wine out of them, they say. Oh, my. I haven't, I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> that sounds like a multi-purpose plant. Well, thank you so no problem, much, no Larry. Problem. So we have our wonderful, beautiful flowers to attract right. all those yeah. butterflies. And keep and the birds. kids busy. Yeah, and that's the most important part. Right. Right. <laughs> well, for more information on gardening, log on to larrysgarden.com or give them a call, Larry's Garden Design and Installation.